Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. Over the last few episodes, we've looked at the first commandment, having only one God, the Lord, and putting Him first. We talked about images and idols and what idolatry really is. We also talked about how there are six major means of violating the command to have no other gods, three of which we've addressed already. The remaining three ways are superstition, divination slash magic, and irreligion. And today we'll be tackling two of those. So, what's superstition? And what are divination and magic? Superstition is when you think that certain things slash actions slash etc. have supernatural powers which in reality are only possessed by God. Divination and magic are when you act on that belief to try to gain those powers for yourself. In other words, divination and magic always presuppose superstition, so I think you can see why I decided to deal with them all at once. What kinds of abilities does God possess which nothing else possesses? Things like seeing the future, predicting other people's free choices, creating things from nothing, and representing by his nature the moral law. Attributing any of these to something other than God is a form of superstition. Believing in superstition is a bad idea for one big reason. Superstitions are always false. Because they're always false, there's really no point in sticking them into our thoughts. They're not true, and they're better off not even being considered. Remember, the whole point of all of this is to learn the truth, right? And, of course, if you act on false information, you're much more likely to make a stupid mistake. And this is why divination and magic are also a bad idea. There's no telling what kind of dangers you could be putting yourself in by believing that something other than God can see the future and trying to figure it out for yourself. It might be even worse than the danger of denying the existence of a 50-foot cliff right in front of you. Because these two sins of superstition and magic are so closely connected, I classify them in the same way. Each is a false god by property. This means that when you go to a fortune teller to try to find out the future from her, you're setting her up as a false god by believing that she has a property, the ability to see the future, which only God possesses. Even if you don't act on this belief, it can seriously hurt your relationship with God. Every form of superstition and magic basically follows this formula. If you try to wear a charm for good fortune, the charm is a false god. If you believe that human society can decide what's right and wrong on its own, human society is a false god. If you try to give yourself supernatural power by casting a spell, you are setting up yourself as a false god. Each and every one of these is seriously damaging to our relationship with God. Of course, there's one more major way to break this commandment, setting up a false god by authority. However, we'll save that for next time. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.